The colors you choose for your paracord projects can quite literally make or break the looks and design. Choosing the right colors is essential in creating eye-catching projects, and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to help you create the perfect combinations. So I'm going to show you a few ways to go from this to this. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about basic color theory. The color wheel is a useful tool that can help you choose the right colors. There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. When you mix two primary colors, you get secondary colors like orange, green, and purple. When you mix a primary and secondary color, you get tertiary colors such as blue, green, or red, orange. Now let's talk about complementary colors. These are colors that are opposite to each other on the color wheel, such as red and green or blue and orange. Using complementary colors in your paracord bracelet or project can create a striking contrast that draws the eye. Next up, we have analogous colors. These are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Analogous colors create a more subtle color scheme and can add depth and complexity to your design. So how can you incorporate these colors into your paracord projects or bracelets? Let's take a look at some examples. First, if you want to use complementary colors, try using them in a stripe pattern, such as in a fishtail or snake knot paracord bracelet. For example, if you're using red and green, try alternating between the two colors to create a bold and eye-catching design. If you're a sports fan and look at your favorite team, they're most likely using complementary or analogous colors, and you can't really go wrong with these. Now these team sports colors may be a bit bright and loud, however, so what I tend to do is stick with toned down versions of these colors. For example, instead of bright neon yellow, go with goldenrod, or instead of a really bright red, try burgundy. Just go with something a bit more subdued. Next, if you want to use analogous colors, try using them in a gradient pattern. For example, on the Cetus weave here, using red, goldenrod, and orange gives that slight gradient effect. But you can achieve that even better by using different shades of the same color. This creates a beautiful and subtle gradient effect. Another way to incorporate color choices into your paracord bracelets or projects is to use a color scheme inspired by nature. For example, if you're making a bracelet for someone who loves the ocean, you could use shades of blue and green to create a beachy and tranquil vibe. Now, I personally like subdued earth tones like Odie Green, Coyote Tan, and Gray. In terms of how many colors you can combine, I'd say try to stick with the rule of three. Usually, if you go over three colors, it can look a little too busy. So if you choose to go with four colors, perhaps make two of those analogous colors or different shades of the same color. One note regarding pattern paracord. As you can see from my personal examples, I tend not to use pattern paracord very often as it's usually two colors and I personally find that pattern cord detracts from the pattern of the weave and it makes it harder to see. Just my personal preference though, of course. Finally, don't be afraid to experiment with different color combinations. The beauty of paracord projects is that they're customizable and can be made in any color combination you like. Play around with different color schemes, mix and match colors, and just have fun.